Welcome to the homework for lesson six. It's module eight of second grade. Name first, please. And we're identifying polygons labeled in the tangram as precisely as possible in these spaces. And the letters will go here, A, B, and C go with the shapes A, B, and C. And what we mean by precisely is uh, give give the the name that give the name of the shape. A lot of shapes have more than one thing you can call them. For example, a rectangle could be a quad. You could also call it a quadrilateral. You could call it a polygon. You could call it a a parallelogram. You could call it a trapezoid. Uh, you could so you uh, you could call it a lot of different things, but if it's got four square corners, it's a rectangle, so we'll call it a rectangle. All right, for A, I'm looking at this shape for A, and it has those sides are parallel, but also these sides are parallel to each other. So that's a parallelogram. And B here, this is, I mean, we could call this a polygon, right? Because it's flat, it has all straight sides and it's closed, but it's a triangle. It does have a square corner. I think all, you know, all the triangles in the, in the puzzle have a square corner. And your teacher in school may have told you that if it has, if a triangle has a, a right, a square corner in it, so it's called a right triangle. And C, this one here, well, it looks like a square, isn't it? Please don't call it a diamond. It's a square. A diamond, if you write diamond, then you might think uh, rhombus instead of square but this is a square it's got it's not just a rhombus it's got square corners so it's got four square corners so it's a rectangle it's a, I mean squares are kind of everything because a square is it's a trapezoid it's a parallelogram it's a rectangle it's a rhombus it's a kite it's um, you know it's it's a little bit of everything but the most precise name for it is square. Use the square and the two smallest triangles, the tangram pieces, to make the following polygons. Now this works a lot better if you use a straight edge to draw your pictures because it really helps to get them to come out looking decent. So I want a triangle with one square corner. So first I'm going to draw the square. And... I'm using a straight edge and it still doesn't come out perfect but at least I get mostly straight sides which you won't get if you don't use a straight edge so let's see one square corner and my the straight edge I'm using it's a uh, I'm using a, a looks like a business card I mean, you could use a, a, a the edge of a, a playing card from a deck of cards, but that's probably not the best thing to use. You can use the edge of an envelope. Uh, almost anything that's just, you know, flat and straight. Now with one square corner, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take, and there's more than one way to do this, but here's just one of the puzzle solutions. I'm going to take one of the triangles there. So like that's the square corner of one of the small triangles. And then I'm going to keep this. Let's see, that goes about to there. There. And that's the other triangle. And that's about as good as I can I can hope to get it, the picture to look. Uh, so that's one of the solutions. But really, uh, what you should do is, if you haven't done it already, please... If you have a page like this, cut them out and play with the puzzle pieces because it's going to be way easier to draw the pictures when you actually solve the puzzle first. And that's what I'm doing. Uh, quadrilateral with four square corners. So that's going to be a rectangle. 
that's the definition of a wet a rectangle. So I need a rectangle. I'm gonna need I'm gonna take the square. And this is just the first way that I found to do it. And one of the triangles goes like this. And then the other triangle can fit like that. So that the two triangles together sort of make another square. And there you've got your your uh, your rectangle, a quadrilateral with no square corners. So if I take the square, and there's there's a lot of different ways to do this, and maybe you can find one that's not the same as mine. I challenge you to find one that's different from mine. But this is just one of the solutions here. I take one of the triangles, and I go like that and then I'll take the other triangle and put it here all right and so now here are the corners there 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 and there none of those are square corners so that's a parallelogram I just made and now we want one with only one pair of parallel sides so that's a trapezoid. Well, a trapezoid can have more than one pair, but uh, this is a trapezoid that's not a parallelogram. So start with the square here, and this is gonna be a lot like the one I just made. And there's more than one look to, the, look to this. So I'm gonna take one of these triangles like that. And now I can't, I gotta be careful that the sides aren't parallel. So this one's gonna have to also kind of go like this. And that's one way to do it. And now there's just, you know, these are the two sides that are parallel. What's so that's one pair, right? A pair is two. So that's, there's parallel sides, but these sides here are not parallel so that's it now rearrange the parallelogram and the two smallest triangles to make a hexagon all right so the parallelogram and let's see so it's about there Let's think about this. All right, there's my parallelogram, and that's about as good as I can get it to look, really. And the two smallest triangles are making a hexagon. So, you, you, and really, this is very difficult to visualize in your mind unless you use the puzzle pieces. Because you're going to end up making, uh, you can end up just making another quadrilateral, depending, you just make a bigger parallelogram, depending on how you put this thing together. And it's still going to have just four sides, so you have to kind of be careful how you do it. And it can be, it can take some trial and error. You're going to make some mistakes and just keep counting the sides and see if you have it yet. And I'm while I'm talking about it, I'm trying to solve my puzzle here. And I've got one, two, three, four, five. No, that's just a, I've got a pentagon there. But what if I do this? Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sides. I need six straight sides. That's too many. So, all right, I found one. So I'm gonna take one of the triangles and put it like this. And 
it's going to go, let's see, this goes kind of straight up like that. There, so that that's the square corner there. And let me clean up my extra part here that's sticking out. And then the other triangle, I'm going to make, it actually goes to about here. And then the side continues there. And I think that's this is going to work. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and this whole thing here is six. So that's there's your hexagon. That's one of them. There's lots. There are many other um, ways to make hexagons with these three shapes. And now this part here says rearrange your tangram pieces to make at least six other polygons. Draw and name them below. So here's the thing for this is we're making polygons. Now one of the great things about tangram pieces is making uh, making you can make almost anything out of them and if you do some searches online you can find patterns and puzzles to figure out like how do I use tangrams to make a cat or make a dog and they'll show you the pattern and you just figure out where to put you have to figure out where the pieces how they fit together to make that shape um, we're not doing that and those usually make take all of the pieces which are you'll never be able to draw them all in these little boxes it's just a wicked pain so we're going to use I'm not going to be using all of the pieces to make these but I'm just going to use some of them and I'm, I'm making polygons so I can't really tell you what the answers are here because there's so many different ways to put these together and make other kinds of polygons and, we're, and give the names of the polygons so if I take the two and I'm just gonna give one example to show you what I mean because I can't, really can't tell you the answers for this because you're gonna have to make them up as you go so here are uh, here's if I take the two large triangles and I take one like that here and then here's the square corner for it there right that's the square corner and I take the other one and I put it kind of like this so that's the square corner for that one now you could stop right there and say oh look I just made a parallelogram because that's what that is but then if you take the medium triangle it will fit right here And now I have a trapezoid because you might be able to tell that the top and the bottom are parallel to each other and it's four sided. So I'm going to write trapezoid and there you go. There's one of them and you can figure out five more and my, my advice for this is try to make your um, try to make your polygons put them together don't you don't use more than uh, don't use more than three or four pieces to put together at once because it'll just make it it'll just make the picture harder to draw you definitely can if you want to you can use all of them but it's just gonna make it a really difficult picture to draw